This video covers question 3 from chapter 7 and in that video we are comparing the total cost of a, a regular compounded interest loan versus a add-on interest method for a loan. And as usual the numbers that I'm using in this example do not correspond with the values that you see on your, your question. But the process will be identical. So basically, you went to the store and you bought some furniture that, that cost, let's say, $5,000. And you couldn't afford to pay cash for it, so you purchased it on credit. And you weren't quite sure what sort of uh, interest calculation method that they were using, so the problem asked you to calculate the payments that you'd have to make and the total interest cost under two different payment methods. So the first one said, assume that we had a bank loan, and it uses just the regular method of uh, compounding interest the way that was discussed in Chapter 3. So regularly compounded interest with monthly payments. And let's assume that that's a 10% uh, annual interest rate, but it's compounded monthly. So the first thing they wanted you to do is calculate your monthly payment assuming a one-year repayment period. Now there are a couple of ways you could do this. You could use a financial calculator. That is ultimately what I'm going to do just using the Excel functions. You could use the the formula to find the payment for the future value, sorry, that would be the present value of an annuity. You could use the interest factor tables for that. Or you could use a web calculator, um, the one that I've shown y'all uh, repeatedly in chapter 3. So I'm not going to cover how to find the monthly payment for this particular one because that's stuff that we did in Chapter 3 quite a bit. I'm just going to use, though, the financial calculator function of Excel to figure this out for me. And so since I'm solving for the payment, uh, my rate was 10% divided by 12 because it's a monthly payment. My number of periods would be 12 months because it's a one-year repayment period, but we're making monthly payments. My present value was that $5,000 bank loan. And so my monthly payment would be $439.58. So the first question says, calculate the monthly payment for a bank loan, assuming a one-year repayment period and whatever interest rate that you have. So that's how you would calculate that. The second question says, calculate the total cost for the bank loan, assuming that one year repayment period and the interest that they provided you earlier. Well, to find that answer, so the total cost of bank loan, I would t take the 12 months and multiply it by the $439.58 of my monthly payment. So I borrowed $5,000. Once I repay everything after a year, I'll have repaid $5,274. So my interest would be the difference between this $5,274 and the $5,000. They didn't specifically ask me that, though. I'm just telling you. The next part of the question says to calculate um, my monthly payment, assuming the store, uses the add-on method of interest calculation. First of all, this is a horrible way for you to borrow money. Um, it's a horrible way I in terms of how much you'll pay. You'll pay more if they use this method. If you had a choice between uh, a making monthly payments with regularly compounded interest versus making monthly payments with the add-on interest 
calculation. If your rates are the same and the amount you're borrowing is this, the same, the add-on method of interest calculation is more expensive. To calculate it, um, though, let's assume that our our um, the furniture store offers us these terms, and we can basically buy on credit from the furniture store, and they use the add-on method of interest, and they have, let's say, a 10% annual rate. They ask us to calculate our monthly payments. The add-on method of interest, basically you just take the amount that you borrowed, which in this case I'm saying is 5000 You multiply it by your interest rate, and I'm using this 10% annual rate. So then you, this would be our interest that we would have to pay. What they do next to find your monthly payments is you t they take your 5000 that you borrowed, they add to it your interest to get 5500 Then they take that 5500 and they divide it by however many months you're going to take to pay off your loan. So we're taking 12 months or one year of monthly payments to pay off our loan. So I just take that 5500 divide by 12. That gives me my monthly payment under the add-on interest method versus our monthly payment. I know one's negative and one's positive, but don't worry about that part. Um, for, this is our monthly payment using the regularly compounded interest method. Then they want to know the total cost if we use the add-on interest method. So it would, well, technically the answer is just 5500 I can take the 458.33 times the 12 months, but that essentially gives me 5,500. So here's my total cost under the add-on interest method, my total cost under the regularly compounded interest method, and you can see that it adds a couple hundred dollars to do the add-on interest method.